Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the policy rules and kill switch settings for your VPN in Asus WRT Merlin. You learn how to route specific devices in or out of the VPN tunnel and how to cut off internet activity if the VPN fails. If you haven't configured your VPN client yet, check out my video on how to set everything up. And if you're looking for a new VPN provider, I recommend you check out NordVPN. It's one of the few VPNs that works with Netflix, plus it supports many other streaming services. They allow Torrents, Kodi, Tor, and can even block malware automatically. If you'd like to support this channel, you can use my link below in the video description. I'll receive a small commission and you'll get the best advertised price. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we have an active connection using NordVPN. And just to confirm my IP address, uh, we can use a tool like ipmonkey.com, which shows you this IP address matches the IP address shown here assigned by our, our VPN. So in order to turn on policy rules in the kill switch, you wanna go down to the section at the bottom here where it says force internet traffic through the tunnel. And you wanna change it from no, which is the default, to policy rules or policy rules strict. Now the difference between these two is that policy rules strict uh, attempts to override any global settings on your router that might cause privacy or identity leaks. So my recommendation is that you go with policy rule strict first, and if it tends to break or it starts to break access to things on your network, like maybe your uh, maybe your Plex server doesn't work anymore, or uh, you can't access your your cloud drive or your NAS or whatever, uh, then you switch to policy rules. But for now, we're going to go with policy rule strict, and you'll see this new box pops up down here. So before we apply any settings, you need to understand that this fundamentally changes the way the VPN works on your router. So before you enable policy rules, every device that was connected to the router would go through the VPN as long as the VPN was active. But once you enable policy rules, only devices that you specifically specify will use the VPN tunnel. So by default, all devices ignore the VPN settings unless you say otherwise. And just to show that, so we'll click apply and you do have to wait a second for your VPN to reconnect here, so we'll do that. Okay, the VPN is reconnected, so if we go back and check on IP Monkey, you can see that it's actually has a different IP address, and it's the IP of my internet service provider, which is Verizon. So clearly my device is no longer be, being routed through the VPN tunnel, and that's because of the policy rules. So let's go back, and now we're gonna add a rule. So let's say we want to route this computer through the VPN tunnel again. So we'll make a rule, uh, it's just a descriptive rule so you know what device it refers to, so we'll just call it my PC. And then if your device is connected to the network currently, it should show up in this source IP list. You can just click on it, so, and it'll automatically fill in your IP address. If it's not currently connected, uh, you can manually enter the IP address if you know it, or just connect your device to the network and it should show up here. So we'll do that. You don't have to enter anything for destination IP. And then for the interface, you get the choice of WAN or VPN. WAN circumvents the VPN tunnel and VPN goes through the VPN tunnel, so we want VPN. And we're just gonna click apply. And we'll wait for the VPN to reconnect again. And then now let's go back and refresh this. And now you can see that it's actually going through the VPN tunnel again and it's working properly. So that's great. And of course you can keep adding additional devices. So you can see if I wanna add my phone, I can choose my phone from the list and it'll fill in the IP again automatically, select VPN and click apply. So that's option one. But what if you have like 20 or 30 devices on your network and you don't wanna to have to manually enter them and you sort of have the issue where um, your IP addresses for your devices may change frequently. So how do we make sure all the devices we wanna protect go through the network? Well, one way to do that is by creating an all rule where by default, all devices go through the VPN and then you can choose to specifically route some devices outside the VPN tunnel. Hey, can you take a quick second to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you get updated about all our latest videos and tutorials. All right, let's dive back in. So before we can set that up, you need two pieces of information and to get it, you just go to advanced settings and then LAN. And right here under LAN IP address, you need to know the IP address of your gateway or your router. For most of you, by default, that will be 192.168.1.1, but I've actually set mine to a different subnet, so mine is 
and you need your subnet mask, which again by default is 255.255.255.0. And if yours is something other than this, the exact settings that I'm using in the next section will not work for you, but I would say for 99% of you, uh, this will be your subnet mask. All right, so let's go back to the VPN settings. And now we're gonna create an all rule. So let's make the rule so that all devices, we'll call it, for your source IP, we're gonna enter the first three segments of the IP address of your router's subnet. So for me, that's 192.168.3. For you, it might be one dot, but mine's gonna be three. And then instead of uh, dot one for your last digit here, we're gonna do zero slash 24. And what this does is this is an IP address range using CIDR notation. And this will encompass every IP address from 3.1 to 3.255. So basically that entire IP address range. And again, you can leave destination IP blank and we wanna select VPN for the interface for this rule. And we'll click apply. So what you'll see now is because we're routing all devices through the tunnel by default, I can delete this rule entirely and my desktop will still go through the VPN tunnel. So let's delete this rule and apply. And now if we check our IP, if we refresh our IP address, you can see it's still the same. So it's still going through the VPN tunnel. And what you can do now is actually, instead of routing specific devices through the VPN, instead we're gonna route specific devices outside the VPN. So we'll go back and we'll do my desktop. And we'll route it to the WAN. And we'll apply this rule. And we'll go back and we'll refresh our IP test. And now it's back to the, uh, the IP address of our internet service provider, all right? So that's pretty much everything. And um, you don't need to do this entire IP address range. So there are smaller IP ranges that you can use. Now, one trick you can do with this, let's say you want to select which VPNs get routed through the tunnel based on their IP address. So if you simply change the IP address of the device, it either goes inside or outside the VPN. Well, then you would wanna break this into a smaller range of IP addresses, and then you can manually assign um, the IP address to be inside the range that goes through the VPN. So you can use a tool like uh, ipaddressguide.com CIDR range calculator. And so for example, if you want to make the IP address range 1.0 to 1.31, which is a range of 32 IPs, this would be the notation. You can just enter anything you want. And we so we could do 63. So that'll be a 64 IP address range. Click calculate and it will tell you the proper CIDR notation. And then you can use the manual IP settings on each device to determine whether it will be inside or outside of that range. All right, and then the last setting here that we have is simply the block routed clients if tunnel goes down. And this is the kill switch setting. So what this does is if you select yes, then anytime the VPN tunnel fails, your device will lose access to the internet until the VPN tunnel re-engages. If you have it set to no, your device will use whatever is available. So if the VPN tunnel goes down, it'll go outside the VPN. It'll just use your regular IP. If you set it to yes, it will only work connect to the internet if the VPN is active. And we can test this out. First, I need to delete the rule that routes my desktop outside the VPN tunnel. So we'll click apply. So just to test how this works normally without in turning on the kill switch, we can uh, turn off the VPN. And you'll see that I still have internet access, but all the devices that were supposed to go through the VPN tunnel are just going through the insecure connection. Now, if we simply change this rule to block routed clients if the tunnel goes down and click apply. And now if I refresh the page, you can see it's just spinning. I have no internet access. And once we enable the VPN, so the VPN is connected and you can see it's automatically working. And if we go back to IP Monkey, our VPN IP address again, okay? All right, so that's basically it. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions, uh, just hit me up in the comments and make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And also subscribe to get all our latest content. Thanks a lot and have a great day.